So today, I'll be playing in multiplayer Hearts of Iron 4. Everything's completely vanilla, but everything has been annexed into two countries, the Benelux Socialist State and the Thunder Dragon Empire. There's max infrastructure across the entire world, so we don't have to worry about South America and other areas being troublesome. Fighting will be pretty easy everywhere. We have equal factories, equal dockyards, equal equal everything pretty much. We tried to divide states, it kind of looks like the Thunder Dragon Empire has more stuff, but most of that's just because these states are really big. There'll be seven people on my team co-oping, seven people on the Benelux Socialist State co-oping, and I think it could be fun. If you want me to do more multiplayer stuff like this, remember to give this video a like, and if you end up enjoying this, then maybe you could, you know, consider subscribing if, if you haven't already. And so, to kind of recap our plan too, as the Thunder Dragon Empire, just so you guys are kind of in on it, is that we are pretty much only going to build infantry equipment, because we have infinite manpower, everything's our core, so infinite manpower, and all the manpower is equal too, so it's not like since we have India and China we have extra, it's, it's all fair, but we're just going to utilize that infinite manpower, we're going to go down, you know, the Mass Assault Doctrine, we're going to just build and spam out 40 widths. So I guess, l let's get to it. Do you want to maybe focus on Europe? If we can take Europe, we'd have a good holding on yeah. the continent. Well, if we take Europe, yeah. we pretty much win. Like, if we yeah. if we kick them out of mainland Europe, it's over. If we give up South America, like, if it came down to focusing more on one front than the other. Yeah, but I think what we should you... be fine to hold it, because, I, I don't know, I can't picture them pushing through all the mountains, but... If it gets bad yeah. enough. And then and then I could probably just pull back into like the Amazon and even then this yeah. can be a really big slog through all we, of that. Yeah, it, it will if anything, it. I could probably just do a guerrilla warfare just yeah. to distract them for we, a long We possible. want them to fight us there because that would just lose yeah. so much equipment for them. You, you guys should look at what I named the, um, our battleship. Oh god. What, what's where, it where, named? Where's the navy at? Uh, <laughs> the floating dragon. Perfect. There. Floating dragon. So the mass assault divisions will be just for Europe and Northern Africa. Everything else will just have 20 wits. Or, they're not 20 wits right now. Well, they they are now, but then they won't be. But then it's complicated. But then again, look at our war support. We don't have that much, and they have the same. So whoever declares the war is getting a disadvantage. I got Mao and Lin. We're gonna fight in <laughs> South America. Yeah, uh, this is the best alt history ever. 37 already. Well, it started in 37, <laughs> oh. so it's been like oh, two months. Oh, speed. Oh, God. Yeah. It looks like, so they have 12 on tanks, so they are trying to make tanks. They're gonna, they're gonna try to like, Germany us. Yeah. Okay, so do we want to go anti-tank? Yeah, let's go anti-tank. So when does the war start? Uh, good question. No clue. Whenever we want it to. Okay, and we have more. We have four more factories on planes than them. So if this, if the trend continues, we should win the air war. Do you guys, do you guys like North Africa a lot? Cause like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we all are. I think this is the only way to win. It's through North yeah, Africa. Yeah. Well, we're trying to make Uncle Mussolini proud. <laughs> Do you want to just plan on working out all the garrison stuff in Wait, South does America their too? Start out with two bonuses, or oh yeah, that's yeah, kind of unfair. Yeah, yeah, that is unfair. What the that's hell? That's that weekly stability, permanent weekly stability. What? I don't hey know. guys, I just kind of have to... did did you realize that your leader has permanent weekly stability? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Um, hmm. <laughs> huh, that, that's that's interesting, you know. And the I political don't know power what game? happened. That's just the leader that the game decided to do. If I could change leaders, like I would have. Well, sounds like we're getting screwed over today. It's okay, guys. We can do this, and it's just another excuse if we lose. Okay, that's that's what I see it as. So we'll just have such amazing strategy that it doesn't even matter. We're gonna win this. We're gonna we're gonna like get them bogged down in because I, I bet that um they're gonna try really hard to push in South America it seems like so yeah they just get yeah. free political power and free like civilian factories and refine well I guess refineries doesn't really matter yet but if we can win it even with this uh that would be a legendary battle right there like, they're already produced they're producing tanks and more infantry equipment than us already. Yeah, they have like plus 30% political power gain because their leader has. But guys, that, we're, and we're gonna get on war economy it? soon, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it's ridiculous. But I just see this as a really good excuse if we lose, honestly. It's gonna be a god tier like, excuse. Like, Haha, you lost. I'm like, uh, yeah, because you had a great leader. Yeah. 
Oh, we don't even have a political advisor that gives you plus 15%. So they, so we can't even get the 50% boost. So they, yeah, it, they're it's, always going to have a 30% it's kind of more political power. Than... They got the research that's slot. We got the war economy. Yeah, that's going to change we're everything. All, and we're already yeah, beating them in military. Yeah, look at mills. Anyway. It's that'll not be, even close. That'll just mean we have an even larger that's, lead. We have, we have 17 more mills than them now. So do you think we have a chance to beat them out with just our factory bonuses? And oh yeah, it's it's over. If we if we just cancel and declare now, it's over. Like, I, I feel like we should be nice and give them some more time, but like, we could declare the war in 60 days and win. Do yeah, if we're going to declare a war, then we should probably stop training and let people reorg. How do you have 88 military factors? <laughs> because you guys yeah. are bad. Well, Get no, wrecked. We've just been building military factories, and we're on war economy, and you guys are still on whatever. What, how are you? Because how ideal you ideological fanaticism. That's dumb. Yeah. No, it's yeah. Not. <laughs> this is over. They have sixty-nine, nice, and we have ninety-one military factories. Uh, this is so. This is over. We'll we'll start we'll start producing a few more civilians. More civilians and more um dockyards than us, but we have way more military. Factories oh, dockyards. Than us. Well, we're gonna, That's we're a probably gonna build a navy. Yeah, we don't need a navy, I don't care. They can destroy our navy. We'll just destroy them in Europe, and then it's GG. Should we cancel the non-aggression pact to scare them? <laughs> no. Uh, oh. They can justify against us, then. But they lose if they justify, because right now but we can yeah, win. We can win. Yeah. Like, look at the Russian front. They can't win. No, we can let them cancel it. We we, we need more um, garrison divisions to prevent any memes in yeah. China and Japan and okay. Europe. But not yeah. South America, though. Don't worry about South America. I'll make it a massive guerrilla campaign. Do you still need garrisons for the ports in South America? Yeah, there's nothing on any of the ports in South oh, America. Yeah. Okay. Do you still only have 12 divisions in South America? I only have 12 divisions. That's the entire South American army. It's just 12 Ooh. divisions. <laughs> Every single division, we will not buff. Fight them in the mountains. Or we'll fight them in the jungle. Or fight them in the air. Yeah, they have I scout think... planes? Wait, are they ma really making scout planes? <laughs> really? They're making naval bombers too. They're they're they can't win the um, air war. They have they have twelve on planes and they have a, wait, half they of have those... a carrier. They have a carrier. It doesn't matter. Um, if yeah. we win the air war in on land. Yeah. Their carrier means nothing if we can like destroy their the uh, whole. We could air probably war. stink it with our submarines. Yeah, we could probably also do that. We could just mass submarine <laughs> hunt. We're gonna sink them all with our submarines. <laughs> They canceled it. Oh, guys, just just let them declare war on us, then we get the 50%, 30% no, war support. They're, they're going to be at 20% war support. <laughs> uh. Oh, man, that's going to be... Oh. Hey, we have more civs than them now, too. But they're catching up on huh. mills. They also, have, but they also have five more dockyards than we do. Oh, no, the dock, five dockyards. Four days? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, is everybody ready? Mind you. I'm I'm ready. Um, I'm, ready. I'm getting my last. I'm getting my three divisions over to the front line. I'm, I'm just gonna have twenty divisions that we can deploy anywhere in case of emergency that'll start draining. Are yet? Not yet. No, they haven't declared. I'm gonna justify against them, just in case. Oh, hey, are these? Are these, are these, what? is this a surprise for them? I'm going to say no, I think I just forgot about Adam. Oh, okay, I, I was, I, I was wondering if you were going to do like a, you know, a meme surprise and, oh, we have 20 more divisions out of nowhere. Oh no, we don't have any divisions in Cyprus, no. What? No, we don't? Oh god. What, what happened to the divisions in Cyprus? There's nothing, there were none, nothing ever. The, there's nothing in Anatolia. Okay, here we go. Okay, war, war, go, go. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, let's stop this battle plan. This is bad. They're gonna cut us off from Constantinople. They're attacking right there. They're gonna take it. Oh, they took. Oh God! Wait, stop them in Izmir. They're gonna land. I just Izmir. deployed. I just deployed forty wits. They're done. <laughs> what happened? How did that happen? Oh, oh no. no! This is so. This is the. This is a bad situation right now. Yeah. Um. This Russian front is kind of scary, guys. Uh, um, yeah, like, we uh, should have attacked uh, earlier. Yeah. Oh god. We're gonna encircle all that circle. stuff. We're taking yeah, this. We're right. taking this. Maybe. They're moving tanks to cover. Uh, no. Stop. Oh, oh, frankly. oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, oh, we got one tank. Stop that. We got one tank. We got one tank. I'm yeah, less. Go. I'm less standing. For lunch. All right, the tank is dead. We killed one tank. Oh, that's one tank. That's better than nothing. <laughs> 
Okay, there's oh, we've crap. broken oh, through oh, in oh, Ukraine. Oh, they have oh, nothing. Right. Oh, here's here's 15. Here's 15 throwaway divisions right here, right here. Guys, guys, th there's tons of divisions here. 15 new divisions oh, for you guys. Uh, Quick, Moscow. Nine. Four is lost. We've encircled it. Don't worry. Yeah, look at Ukraine though. They have nothing, red. guys. They have nothing in Ukraine. Okay, we're going uh, into too, we're going into Crimea. I I was the one who sent the troops into Crimea. Yeah, oh, yeah they we're pulling out of Kharkov. Our tank. They have a tank in South America. Oh, you oh guys! Oh, oh look! Oh. Oh That's no! You know, they mean business. They have a tank in South America. Push oh it. no! Uh, well, get them oh, out. Damn. I'll last stand them. I'll last stand them. No, we're getting no, them. We're getting them. We, we might, we we're, we're getting them. Yeah, we got them out. They got them out. Yeah. Uh, Oh, they're pushing me again! Yep, they're there. Yeah, we good. Oh, I stalled them. Get them out. Get them out of there. Oh. Guys, we're encircling the seven tanks right here. So, where? Where? right here in the south. Oh, well, those guys are dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. I have no idea what they did. I did not expect this to just be Eastern Front Simulator. Well, it is. <laughs> it's Eastern yeah. Front Simulator with no end ever. It, it will never end. <laughs> Yeah, we, we we have to go no, all through no, Siberia. Finland is open. Finland yeah. is entirely yeah. open. Yeah, guys, push through Finland. Push through Finland. Yeah, I don't have yeah, the I, troops though. Oh, yeah, we don't have the troops. We can circle the tanks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, never mind. Uh, Almost. Okay, look, we have a new army in the north now. Oh, that, that that's really good. The regular infantry are getting recon companies too. The non forty with. Look, guys, oh. tanks, tanks. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No. I Wait, why don't they have any divisions? Like, all through here, there's nothing. Like, yeah, like that, like, you see? Yeah, uh, we're attacking there. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty epic right there, huh? I like to see all these open borders. Oh, oh no, Belgrade uh, is encircled again. No. Uh, again? Okay, human wave offensive. All of our 50 widths are now 40 width. Guys, we have effective divisions at last. Oh, yes. <laughs> also, the south is still completely open. There is... the north. I'll be honest guys, at this point I'm just spamming out really bad divisions nowadays. But that's all we need to do, that's how we're gonna win, that's what we, we got grand battle plan. Yo, the north terrible. is over. They might have just lost the game because of that.
We got the Baltic. Oh yeah, we got. We're moving on the Baltics. Yeah. Oh look at that air. That air is beautiful. Finally. Uh, there's oh. six tanks by. Oh I know. It's air is amazing. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. There's like um, five tanks here. We are holding beautifully. They don't have enough. No. They don't have enough to hold this encirclement though. I don't think. Yeah, we encircled yeah. one. We encircled one. We circle all. Yeah. I got it. Nice. Pristy offensive, pristy offensive, pristy offensive. Another one, another one right here. Yeah, got it, got it. Two, two. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we need more divisions. We need more divisions. I can't, uh, more divisions. Shaky. Yes. Yeah, okay, one's gone. Yes. Oh, guys, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, finally. Yes. Oh, we at Leningrad. Yes. Oh, yes. <sighs> Oh, the air oh, war is just dude. so beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, no. There's no way we're getting on total mob with zero war support. I just realized. Uh... Oh yeah, we have zero. Why do we have zero? Because we That's declared the war. Somebody died. Yeah. We're already in East Germany. We oh have... my God, we're going for Berlin. We yeah, Berlin. I see the division just run straight for Berlin. 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 <laughs> Berlin. <laughs> Berlin. Uh, look, look we want superiority. Look how beautiful it is. Oh. Uh... And oh. to Berlin. Okay, let's go to Luxembourg. We're gonna go. We're just gonna see. Berlin is ours. I'm gonna just scout and see if they have anything between Luxembourg and this, because they have factories in Luxembourg. So. Motorized. Oh no no no! Tanks tanks by Berlin. Tanks by Berlin. Shaky, shaky, you don't spawn troops in China. But you spawn them in Africa, because it'd be much easier to send them over the Atlantic than the. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> the Atlantic. <laughs> Look at this battle plan, guys. This circular battle plan. <laughs> Wait, there's no, there's no division. There's no defense right here. Yeah, if we can what get the some heck? divisions what? up. What are they defending? Yeah, there's, there's no defense here. There's no defense anywhere here. We're walking yeah, in, guys. We're we're close to Luxembourg. I, I don't care if that division gets encircled. I just want to see what's there. We can make them. Guys, look. There are so many little patches that none of our men are attacking. That's the issue. Yeah. Oh, it's ours. It's How many factories oh, there? Zero. Where they Zero flew. factories. Losing so bad at the beginning. Of yeah, this. I can't I've believe been... how well this turned I... around. I've just been so amazed that I completely forgot about the Air Force. Yeah, we're doing amazing. Wow. They're probably yeah, pretty salty, okay. though. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna take Paris. Paris uh, is ours. Paris. Oh, yeah. And we need to take we took, Rome. We did it. We took Paris. Take Rome for the glory of the Empire. Yes. We'll declare the yes, Thunder Dragon Empire Rome. the new Roman just... Empire. Maybe they're gonna give up. I, I I think at this point that we've taken Europe, so like I don't know. Rome. Yeah, guys, uh, look at look at their industry and then look at our industry. Like it's over. Yeah, we're almost there. The liver. Oh, the yeah. new Roman Empire. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. New Roman Empire is back, baby. Uh, yeah. And everything after that is pretty much history. The Benelux socialist state, they finally gave up afterwards. There was some debate, but then they, you know, just released every... They just all released themselves as other nations, as memes. Because, yeah, there was really nothing else that they could do, especially after they had to give up Europe, because they just didn't have the amount of divisions that we had. They couldn't make as many divisions as we could make, because the entire time, we pretty much just made guns, but they tried to produce tanks and artillery, and I think that was kind of the main thing that changed the game in our favor, because even though their divisions were better, or there were many, many more of our divisions, and we had such a hard time with their tanks, but that was pretty much it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe, and see you guys next time.